Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Ma, issue number three. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue in with 11 days after Marion's attack. From issue number one, when she was assaulted at a bar by this guy who slipped something in her drink, that assault and that SEX our APE transformation became into something horrific and we begin with Marion's soliloquy. No one will believe me. Every victim thinks that we hear what they say when somebody talks. She's crazy. They say she's lying. They say she wants revenge. It's all bull jive. But they believe her. They just want an excuse to look the other way. I've been the woman they're talking about, but now I see someone else. Now I'm someone that no one could believe. And the reveal of her full-on transformation is something that, it, it, it's crazy, man, at least in this comic book. So we see Wendy and Howie, the weed dealer, at the beach shore overlooking dolphins, having a cool rapport and talking. And then Wendy talks about, oh, you know, I thought I'd just put myself on vacation, but you know what? I'll screw a dolphin. And she's just going through this vulnerable state, trying to find what her purpose is on her on this feminist retreat. And she's having trouble fitting. Howie reminds her, you know, you're married. And she's like, don't remind me. You know what happened? if I leave my husband the best outcome is I fall in love again I get married again in 10 years I feel trapped with someone else again so now she's going through all this emotional turmoil feeling trapped maybe she's having trouble fitting in and now she tries to spice things up by trying to give this brother a kiss goes in for the kiss he pulls back like whoa whoa hey no it's not that I don't like you Wendy all right, it's my mom. I mean, I just, um, and then that look on her face is like, you can't kiss me because you're scared of your mother? Oh my gosh, your mother. No, Wendy, not like that. I mean, you like that I'm a bad idea and I could blow up your life. I don't like being used. And she just leaves and it's like, well, you make it sound worse when you explain it like that. And for the record, Howie, I don't usually kiss my bad ideas. So she runs away, livid, well, not livid, but just miffed, you know, about the situation. I mean, she went in for the kiss. She's married. She's looking to spice it up, and she's having trouble fitting, so she's just trying everything at this point. Then this guilt trip of a text message from her husband, Greg, sending her pictures of her two sons, and she's like, you know what? Have you found it yet? And then back in issue number two of this feminist retreat, we're like, what did the man do to oppress you? Speak your troubles, and the mother will heal you. And Wendy tells her, you know what? Men have done nothing to me. I mean, I'm glad you have this place. I see why it matters to you, Diana and Miranda. But men were nice to me. Everyone is nice to me. All I have to do is be who they expect me to be. So I have nothing to share. I'm so sorry. She feels guilty about this. You know, based on what we know from Wendy, men haven't done nothing to her. So we see Howie at the bar just drinking away. And these two brothers from the previous issue, when they were trying to harass Marion, Wendy's sister, they're pissed about what's going on the island. What's going on, Howie? Something unnatural is going on there. What is this thing? And Howie's like, dude, is this homophobia, man? Pick a different culture war, boys. This one's done. He's like, oh, this whole town knows some dark shit's going on up in that retreat. You're going, you're in on it, aren't you? Well, you know what? You're going to help the boys out. You're going to help your fellow man out. Take us to that retreat. Something's up over there. So when Wendy enters Marion's cabin because she hasn't been out in more than three days, the cabin's ransacked. And that's just a foreshadowing of her Marion's transformation after what happened in issue number one. And what's been transpiring ever since is like, you going to call me a monster? How about I am that monster? So that I feel that the guy created me to be or a man created me to be. I, I don't know. This book could walk a fine line with stuff like this. And I'm just trusting the writers until issue number five because this is getting really good right here. And Howie's like, I don't want no part of it. Look, man, it's nothing personal, Howie. I'm sorry about all this. Sorry. Two armed men holding me hostage. How is this not sorry? This is effed up. When Wendy enters Marion's bathroom, it's just blood. It's disgusting. It's ransacked. It's ran through. What the hell is going on over there? She has the door barge in. She thought it's Marion. And the guys shoot Wendy. The very men she claimed earlier that didn't do anything to her. She was just at the wrong place at the wrong time or call it the right place at the wrong time because she's trying to be a support for her sister Marion, you know? Now they think she's presumed dead. We shot the wrong person. This was not the person we saw at the beach on issue number two where they saw Marion going through some odd transformation, something trying to protrude her midsection. Howie goes in, sees Wendy, calls out for her name. Felix goes up behind Wendy and puts a knife to her neck. Now we see Marion emerging with those white eyes and the growl and the hiss and this 
baby crocodile or alligator, whatever the, whatever it is, just bites his head off, decapitates him, and all Howie and, and Felix's friend can look in horror is as Marion is just slurping the inside of his head out. And they're like, what is that? We don't know, and this transformation is just a sight for, it, it, oh my gosh, dude, it's awesome, dude. I mean, I don't know where this book's gonna go. Th this book does walk a fine line with some of the subject matter here, but the horror element makes it interesting. I'm just trusting the writers at this point, and I think this comic book, if you want to add it to your comic book collection, which you will not be disappointed in, link in description, by the way. With that being said, Ma, issue number three, what you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also, if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy and don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.